There are a lot of steps to this machine buttonholing. The first thing you need to know is do not turn this dial until this dial is on F. F, you can turn it around and then you can turn it out, but it has to be on F before you select any of these. So for the buttonhole, you're supposed to do F, and then you're setting it right here on the zigzag with a dotted line. Then you put this on this setting right here, the little buttonhole looking setting. This over here needs to be set like that, not like that. It needs to look like that. I don't even remember the names of all these styles. Then you turn your your uh, buttonhole guide to one. You got four steps in here. You got one, two, three, and back to here for four. So I've got the needle threaded and I've got my buttonhole presser foot on here. I'm gonna try it. It starts in reverse on number one. Okay, so now, uh, now that I'm set up, I'm supposed to turn this back to zero. Okay, ready to go. Let's see so what you give me a recap here. Turn this dial to F. This dial can be moved around now. You want it right here. That first setting zigzag with the line. Then you want this dial right here for this setting between zero and one. You want this dial over here set to the three dots. And then you can turn this back to zero. And this button holder, you're starting on step number one. Button hole, presser foot, down, threaded, ready to go. Here we go, nice and slow. Turn this to number two, which is supposed to edge cross between both the lines it's gonna make. I'm going to turn it to three, move the needle position to that side of the button holder so that it can come back down. The final step is back to number two, float four there, finish the bottom.